what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I have the honor and the pleasure to flash the first custom ROM on my Galaxy S8, Renovate Ice version 1.0. In this review I will cover 4 important aspects of every ROM you may want to consider flashing. That means I'll do this review in a wicked manner. You don't know what a wicked manner is? Take a look at it. If you want to know how to install it, make sure you watch my how to flash a custom ROM on your Galaxy S8 slash S8 Plus tutorial, again placed in the card right next to the video. So without further ado, say it with me, let's get wicked. So what can this ROM do for you? Well pretty much anything that the stock firmware does, at least for now. With some interesting new features accessible in the Renovate Home app, I'll talk about in the aesthetics section. The key difference though from the stock firmware is that when you install this ROM from Recovery, you'll get the ability to debloat it via a ROM installer. So you can choose which app to stay and which one to vanish from the start. Taking in mind that it can be debloated so that ROM usage is lower, can this ROM be fast as lightning? Let's take a look at the Antutu benchmark score it got. Since it is the first one, I can't compare it to any other one, so let's place it to the wall of speed. Since the score is just a number, the overall speed and smoothness of this first release of Renovate Ice is close to stock firmware, snappy and buttery smooth. Navigating through the apps, switching back and forth using a recent app panel is fast as you would expect from a flagship device. Now, most of you are interested in gaming performance, so I'll open up Subway Surfers and as you can see, it runs with no problems. Going through Temple Run 2 with best graphics options, same story, no lag or whatsoever. The most graphic intensive game I tried was Asphalt 8 and it also ran as you would expect. So gaming performance on Galaxy S8 running Renovate ROM is definitely a great one. We discussed about the performance, okay. What about the aesthetics? Since it is the first release of this ROM on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, you'll be surprised to see that it isn't just a stock Diodex firmware with root. Hence, you can already customize some annoying pop-ups and apply some minor visual tweaks and implementations in their own Renovate Home app. For example, you can disable the high brightness eye strain warning, or you can set the position of the clock to either right, left, or center which is also a nice touch. So we've come to an end and the final question is do I recommend this ROM? Well to be honest I have to say yes. In comparison with the stock firmware this is a solid start in terms of development and I hope we'll see more and more from Renovate team. Regarding the battery life, take in mind that this ROM is so close to stock, running the same stock kernel since Samsung hasn't released their source code yet, the battery life is pretty much the same as it is on stock firmware. All features work, edge screen, themes, icon packs, widgets, except the Nox app, which I have no idea why they are showing in the app drawer. But as I said, this ROM will become better and better as the time goes and I will be happy to test every major update they will release. Wicked score, I would say 3.5 out of 5. It's not even close to perfection or at least what I consider to be perfection from many aspects which aren't really related to their work but more precisely Samsung's one. Anyway, this was the review of the first ROM release for Renovate Eyes. I hope you like it, if you did, please make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification icon so that you will see when I post a new ROM review on either my Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S4. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out, bye bye.